This week on One Crazy Story, comedian Bill Bouchard joins us to talk about the worst gigs we've ever done and much more. I don't think he realized how extreme it was happening the next day was going to be. Oh my so God. the guy gives a blessing. Oh, he does no. a prayer, and he goes, let's oh. bring up our comedian. And I'm walking up there going, this is... Kids are running around. No one's paying attention. People are walking around. I, I did like two minutes, and I'm just like... This is... Hey, good night, my first two or three jokes. I was doing as clean as I can, and I was just being nice to people. So right. No one's paying attention. Everybody's talking, and then you feel like two, two inches tall. Hello and welcome to another edition of One Crazy Story. I'm your host, Nate Armbruster, and this week I'm talking with comedian Bill Bouchard. Um, I think it's safe to say that Bill is definitely one of the funniest people you haven't heard of. And if you haven't seen him, you, you got to change that. He's so funny. I've seen this guy murder audiences and he's, and his live show is so, so good. And actually it's pretty funny as I've been doing comedy living in Michigan for about 10 years now or so. And, uh, I've known Bill as long as I've started and I don't think we've ever actually done a show together. Like we've been, I've been two shows that he's been like the headliner and stuff but i've never never been on a show with him it's crazy you would think that we'd cross paths at some point uh but we actually have never done anything together (laughs) and i hope that changes that'd be fun because bill's one of the funniest people to watch it's one of the funniest shows you'll uh you'll ever see and it's uh, it's a great time for everyone in the audience and we talk a lot about that in this episode uh we talk about uh, Michigan and just what it's like doing comedy here for the most part. There's a lot of random gigs. You never even would think that people <laughs> want to see comedy in most of these towns, but they're just, there's random shows all over the place and you just, you don't, you know, and Bill does them all. He's done them all. He's been everywhere. And so that's, what's fun about comedy. That's my favorite thing about comedy is that there's all these comedians working everywhere in places you've never even heard of. And, and it's actually like really fun and it's fun for everybody. The audience, I mean, don't get me wrong. There are the shitty ones. That's let's not, let's not kid ourselves, but they're definitely fun shows. And I think it's a, uh, it's in a lot of cases up to the comedian to make it fun. And Bill does that every time. Go find him online, Bill Bouchard. There'll be links in the show description. However, you're listening to this. This episode was a lot of fun to record. I went over to Bill's house, uh, had a great time. Got to see his place. It's, it's funny how it's just, this podcast has allowed me to talk to just the most random people, every, just people that you never, it gives me an opportunity to catch up and talk with people that wouldn't just normally just let me come over and bullshit. So, uh, it was a lot of fun talking to Bill. This is so cool. Um, so if you're a fan of comedy and you're in Michigan, uh, go see Bill live. Definitely go check him out. Also, Um, if you're enjoying anything I've ever said on this podcast, or if this is your first episode, thanks for being here. Or if this is your, uh, hundredth episode, whatever, if this, or if this is the, if you've listened to every episode, Jesus, that's amazing. Um, thanks for being here. It's amazing. Podcasting. I think it's so much fun. And the fact that so many people are actually listening to the stuff I'm putting out is crazy to me. And I appreciate you listening. If you want to get in touch with me, you can follow me on all the social media at One Crazy Story or Nate Comedy. Just Google all that stuff. Leave a review if you haven't done that yet, please, and share it with your friends. That'd be a huge help. I do appreciate it. Um, or if you want to get in touch with me directly, you can always email me at onecrazystory at gmail.com. Let me know what you think of the show. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you guys have a story you want to share with me, I'd love to hear about it. So that's enough from me. Now enjoy this episode with myself and comedian Bill Bouchard. Oh man, you can throw a rock and hit these these boats as they go by. These hydroplanes. <laughs> Did you throw anything? No, I thought about it. <laughs> I mean, how many people are along the river for that? Oh, there was it, it, it gets I mean, people thousands, out here. Right? I wouldn't say there's thousands. No. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. There was like 60 out by our water. <laughs> I was pretty wasted the yeah. whole time. Is that, is, to me, it's a reason to drink. Is I that, don't care. I was going to say, is that one of the things that it's like, it, exactly, it's a reason to drink. So it's, you just show up. <laughs> yeah, everything in Michigan if in I the summertime is, is built for drinking. You're There's, not no, wrong. You don't go to, even go to an art fair <laughs> Dude, without being right. a little Is there a you're beer right. tent? That's the first to, question. I've been to art fairs. And, and I'm like, I don't, honestly, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I saw anything. I didn't see any art. Yeah. <laughs> you know, a great thing that we go to every year is the, uh, uh, NUP, the, uh, Embarquette, the beer fest. 
Oh, you gotta yeah. go. It's the weekend after Labor Day. If you okay. ever want to plan a weekend, that's oh, the weekend yeah. you go up, man. Marquette's beautiful. Too, Weather's so beautiful. Yep. It's a great, great event, and uh, I there, just love Marquette. So I'm always pushing Marquette whenever right. I have a chance. So that's just like a beer festival. Which Michigan? Yeah, that yeah. seems like that's the they're only, everywhere. Yeah, it's everybody. It's part of a tour, I guess. They do the one at Eastern Market. It's part of that. Mm-hmm. Whoever puts all those on, and, okay. And uh, yeah, I I just think it's a it's a really unique event just because of where it's at. It's yeah, good time, man. Marquette's it's a good place to be drunk. Yeah. <laughs> I don't favorite yeah, city. You know, in, once again, I hate to sound like I have a problem, but every time favorite, I go to Marquette, I'll, I'll spend ninety percent of my time. I did, yeah, I did a gig at Marquette <laughs> once, and I think I spent more than I made. Just going alcohol. to great bars and just, everything, just yeah. being drunk. Yeah, <laughs> just, yeah. Being, just that weather will do it to you. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. little breeze off the water says, mm, "Beer." Mm-hmm. Yeah, especially the week after Labor Day. You know, mm-hmm. that's the perfect time to do it. It really is. All right, here's a question, Bill. Sure. Uh, favorite city in Michigan to get drunk in. I would say I would put Marquette, Marquette up there. Marquette. You know, Traverse City is always a nice one oh, to get to. Traverse drunk City. In. And then anything on the <laughs> anything on the west side of the state, anything Jerry Donovan books, <laughs> maybe somewhere in Saugatuck do you or find, uh, do you find Douglas, that? Michigan, or, you know. <laughs> do you find that doing Michigan and comedy, as long as you have, that you can't go anywhere? It, it kind of, it almost ruins... Like my dad just you, moved to you Ludington. You can't go on vacation. Yeah, my dad, <laughs> my dad just moved to Ludington, and he and there's a bar in town that he likes, and I've been there a few times with him, yeah. you know, just from visiting, and I don't get to go just visit that often. So when I do, it's usually like I'm doing a gig nearby, so I'll swing through on yeah. my way to yeah. or from, yeah. and it's like it's kind of nice and convenient. I also have a place to stay if needed, but he goes, hey, did you hear this? Uh, this bar, you know, down the street's doing comedy now, and I go, oh, great. <laughs> I'm like, I can't just ruin Ludington for me. This is like my yeah, one, yeah, this yeah. is the one place I could go without thinking about stand up. <laughs> That's so true, man. <laughs> I'll do that when we plan something on, uh, in Northern Michigan or on the West side of the state or something. I'm always in the back of my head, like yeah. maybe I could string a couple one nighters together <laughs> yeah. and then we get a free room and I'll right. just go to the show. And I yeah. drives my wife crazy. Yeah. We're not going, I'm not going, <laughs> not going to a to show this, for an hour. Not this going is to this a vacation. Show. But I'm like, yeah. we could save some money and we right. can make some money. Right. It's not a you bad know. deal. It's not a bad deal if you can get a room and you yeah. know some extra cash for yeah. the trip why not yeah your vacation like... pays for itself <laughs> a workation it's so funny you just think you have to have that conversation oh, with her I, like she's uh, like no uh, we're not doing it yeah, i'm not yeah, going, I'm, to I'm going on vacation we're not yes. doing this we're I'm not going to that you have to VFW. sit around and think about the show a half hour before you go on <laughs> then it just eats into the time of yeah. us having a good time and then and it's awful and then after then we it, can't eat because you're afraid to eat before you go on stage it's just <laughs> ruin the whole, ruins the whole vacation. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so great. Yeah, Michigan's such a unique state in that, you know, it's kind of got its own comedy circuit without even being a... Yeah. With, I mean, and no one would know. Oh, they're everywhere. Yeah, I mean, they, every fun, little and, town. And every one of these gigs you go to, I mean, you know, you seem like, you know, I could name specific gigs, but I don't want to get in trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but there's ones I love to do, like Spring Lake. A lot of people don't like go to Spring Lake. And I, can, and I understand why. I've had some horrendous shows there, but I've had some great shows there. Mm-hmm. But it's that it's just like, it's it's one of those Western Michigan, like uh, Pentwater, too. All mm-hmm. these little, uh, mm-hmm. little everybody's sunburned and just got off their boat. <laughs> and it's the last thing to do yeah. for the day is to go to a comedy show. Yeah. And they're already half lit in the bag and it's just fun man you know yeah. they're out there to have a good time and it's good it's a, always a good vibe in those situations i always have know? a good time yeah. yeah and plenty of uh too you know you get a up those casino gigs which you know a couple of them are a nightmare but yeah you do it some, because you're in the up and it's, some you get the, that, yeah. the, for me it's the scenery and it's the traveling and, and yeah you know it's a great excuse to the show, the show is just a byproduct of getting out there and getting yeah. to see your great state of michigan <laughs> Dude, you should you should be uh, a spokesperson for Michigan. I think you, you think I so? think you got enough. I think you got enough ro- uh, miles. I got some miles underneath, but some... there's plenty of guys that have a plenty of miles, you know. So uh, this obviously you've listened. Are you familiar with w- the podcast? Yes, so I, it's know. gone through my Facebook feed dozens of times. Yeah, I, I share it a lot. Yes, and I'm, but that just means and you, you should that you're trying to get well, the word out. and that just means you haven't blocked me yet. So yeah. that's fine. That means you like it. Yes, that's your fault. If yes. you don't like it. Yes, you know that's, I, 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 that's how I feel about anything, really. But. Yeah, I'm a, I unfollow a lot of people, so you're still following. <laughs> yeah, all right, good, good to know. You, you've made the cut of my perception well, of what a good person is. You know, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I wonder. Sometimes I wonder if I if I'm like this is probably annoying people, but then I'm also no. like, no, nah, I mean, you know, it can't be any worse hey, than I the other shit. I click on these I do, yeah. and and sometimes I just listen for a stint. Sometimes if I yeah. get into it, I I'll have it on background on my speaker and just let them play. Yeah. It's like what? Listen to a radio show, so why not, man? Yeah, 
Just sometimes it's it's just funny though. Sometimes I feel like I'm like, man, I don't want to be that guy that's always yeah. plugging his shit. Yeah. But I'm also like, if you're looking at it, it's your fault. You know, it's <laughs> you know, if you if you don't know how to not yeah, look, put your phone down. Well, yeah, like you know, does it bother you that much? I'm you know, <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't have a political opinion in this shitty Facebook post that I shared. You know, like it's yeah. somebody, like I just think it's funny that people still like invite that kind of shit. Your headline their- on this show: Bush Art goes off on Trump. <laughs> Maybe it gets you some listens. Actually, yeah, I mean, it was, it's a- good. Fire for, it up, it's fire good, people up. It's good keywords. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, so it's one crazy story is usually where, you know, that's like the main theme of the show. But I don't even know what the hell you had in mind. I know you said you were in Jamaica recently and you were going to. Yeah, I don't have crazy stories. I was in Jamaica recently. That was a, that was a good time, man. They get mm-hmm. that Jamaican cab ride. That's a that's just a crazy drive. You ever been on a Jamaican cab? No, I cannot believe that country has not meddled in bobsledding. It's just the, the twists and the turns and really? the cars coming at you, man. Yeah, Cedar Point should have a roller coaster <laughs> called Jamaican ta- cab ride. Jamaican cab ride. I it mean, it was like- wild, man. It was wild. But, uh, you know, Jamaica, I mean, even walking on the side of the road, it's, it feels like you feel like you're taking your life in your own hands. Man. Yeah. It's crazy. Where'd you guys go? Why, why Jamaica? Just, uh, just well, we had been to Jamaica a few times. We wanted to go like we've been there on, on cruises and stuff. Yeah. And we went to a resort one time. And now we wanted to stay at this hotel that my wife hotel mockingbird and it was yeah. up in the kind of the hills. And we went and stayed there. And, oh, wow. uh, you know, just a little bit more in 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 country. Yeah, and it was fun. We had a great time. It was a beautiful place That's and everything. Awesome. And there's no one nighters you can try. No one nighters didn't have <laughs> yeah, any comedy to do. She's like, we have to go all the way to Jamaica so you don't try and ruin. And our once vacation. again, in bed by nine thirty <laughs> every night type situation because it was such you know. Yeah. You do all you have all your fun during the day, and it was just uh, it was a good time. We were in Isla Isla Ho- Holbox, uh, Mexico, prior to that for a week. That's an island in Mexico. That's a little beach island, and. Uh, you know, a lot of drinking, a lot of, a lot of, once again with the drinking. Yeah. But yeah, had a blast, man. Got a tan, sat around. Jesus. Did nothing, didn't think good about life. comedy. It was a good life for two weeks, and I came right back and uh, did a show that weekend with Rob Little at the castle. We did that show. So we went out, me, him, and Sal went up, and uh, it was 20 year reunion. Oh, yeah, because you guys started together. We all together. started together yeah. pretty much. We were, we, you know, you know it was his comedy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> really? I've never really kept track of how many years I've been doing this. I think I've been doing a little bit longer than Rob, but uh, what 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 do you, you know? What do you, what I, you I started. Around? I did it in my very first time. I went up. It was in an October. I know that it was October something. Yeah, but the are weather you pushing, was shitty. Uh, what are you pushing? Like twenty? What is that? Years? Yep, twenty years. Twenty two years. I think twenty two years. Yeah. Damn. If I I'm, remember, if I'm doing the math right, I'm coming up on ten this yeah, summer. Yeah, at least since my first open. Open mic. mic. That's what I, I tried to. First I, open you mic. know, I should probably shave off the first two years because you know. Yeah. I mean, I think I probably went up. Yeah. Well, you know, I should five shave times. off the first seven. <laughs> 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 yeah, I we, mean everybody I should. We all should. Yeah, yeah. So I'm two years in. <laughs> you know, actually you, three. That would make it three. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm literally been doing this for four years. If I shave off the crap before the good years. Yeah, <laughs> it is funny how you don't really pick up steam for like. Yeah, it, t- yeah. it takes quite a while. Yeah, it's funny. You work your ass off to try to get to a certain level and figure out how to kind of do it. Uh huh. Then you get that level and nobody wants to hire you because you're too old. <laughs> Hi ho. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes on you, show, show business. <laughs> oh God! What, what have you gone up and done lately? Anything no, good? Nothing. What's good. What's your biggest gig? My biggest. I'm switching gig? it on you. Where have you gone up? What's your What's your What's one gig that really pops out in your mind that you've done where you're like, Hey, I can't believe I, I'm really a comedian here. This is really happening. You know what? Uh, you know what was really you know it was really fun. I did two years ago. I did like New Year's Eve in Traverse City at the opera house there. Okay. It's like 400 seats. Yeah. And it was like sold out. We were there like Dave Dyer or something? Mike, Mike Stanley. Mike Stanley. Yeah. And, and both shows are sold out? We just did one. Yeah. You know, like backstage and I'm like, oh shit, this is like a real gig. Like this is like, I'm supposed to do good tonight. Like I don't yeah. have, like I can't, <laughs> I can't like, you know, normally my attitude is like, well, there's 30 people here. Fucking, you know. I yeah. Mean, I hear, none yeah. of them. And they're all yeah, texting. Yeah. The yeah. whole show, you know, yeah. and it's just like, well, I'm just going to really pull some teeth and really get into these people's faces. <laughs> and yeah. then like, no, this one, no, you're, you're the show, buddy. Like, yeah, you can't. yeah. You walk out and they're ready to go though. At 400 uh, that's the thing. People. Oh they're yeah. And like, you. yeah. So you're walking down the hall and there's like a, there's <laughs> like pictures of like Lewis Black, Kathleen Maddie, like, all these people that have played like, you know, just like, why don't oh, they have like, more shows there? I, they Sounds should like be a great thing. It was, it was, it was somehow a, a fundraiser for a local, like nonprofit. I, I don't know. Was there balconies and everything? Yeah, there was, was a balcony. balcony. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. you know, it, like you were just like, Jesus Christ, this is like, and then the next week I was playing. <laughs> so uh, so that's just, <laughs> this is what's beautiful about comedy is one night 
and it's new it was new year's eve too so everybody's already in a great mood you know it was like it was a lot of fun and like you said traverse city big beer town oh yeah man but this is right down on the main strip of you know traverse city there and it was in the perfect location sold out show beautiful town yep and then, you know, the next week I'm at like a pizza parlor <laughs> making uh, like, you know, and like none of the, and nobody yeah. gave a shit, yeah. you know, it's literally yeah. a pizza place that has comedy in, in the UP. And it's like, oh, <laughs> you guys don't even know how good my life was last Friday. Yeah. And now I'm, now I'm right here. But that's everybody. No, but though. that's what's so great. Funny, that's know? what's great about it. And that's, it, that's just funny to me. It makes you appreciate it? that opera house show that much more. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, those shows wouldn't be fun if you didn't have to do a bunch of shit to get to them. Yeah. Cause you couldn't appreciate that, it you know? yeah, It'd be that, like, and that's the point of it too i think mm-hmm. a lot of guys miss out on that you know well there are some people who get who get to open for legit you know like guys that sell they sell out yeah. venues and yeah. then they they start going on the row with them and you know they think that's what it's like all the time and then when that guy stops using them and they got to do some real <laughs> shit and it's like Ooh. yeah you get a taste of yeah. That little, uh, <laughs> yeah like, audience cocaine you want that big audience here, yeah you. yeah like screw these people i'm like i've done this gig probably every year for, for the yeah. last eight years and i'm like this is i thought it was pretty good yeah. <laughs> sometimes it can really deflate you though when you're yeah. you're on a you go in and, and uh a venue that's new or you know you can just tell they're not promoting and yeah they're not, they have this thing and they're not putting themselves behind it uh-huh and you show up and it's just like why are we all here yeah why you're not trying to get people in here? You want me to try to, you know? Yep. You're not giving your max, and you're gonna tell the guys. There's that, a lot of short-sighted uh, you know, rooms out there where they could be doing better. I think than they oh, are. Oh, absolutely! Just nobody gives a shit. Yeah. You know, usually the comic yeah. gives the most shit. Yeah. <laughs> but also, it's just it's just a horrible setup anyway. I'm like, all I need is a good microphone and some lights, man. Yeah. To yeah. make a good. They're you know, essentially they're... paying you to tell jokes and care. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> you got to have the caring aspect in there. Or the whole I thing did, would be a disaster. I did a, a, a corporate thing uh, two weeks, a, le- a week ago. Somebody hit me up and I got this gig and it was great. And I sent them like a contract or whatever. And, yeah. you know, it just has the basics, right? Here's what, you know, the bare bones, like I need a microphone with a good PA, you know, like that yeah. kind of shit. Yeah. And, uh, a, you know, stage, whatever, you know. Whatever you got, I don't get it. It's, like I said, I've been, you know, we've all done the worst, so it's, yeah. I, I'll show up and do whatever. Yeah. But I, I want this to go all right, so I want to at least start off on the right foot, you know? So I show up, and um, it was a, a a bunch of taxidermy people. That's the event, <laughs> right? Like, they're in town for a conference <laughs> or something, and, uh, you know, so it's just, it's a certain type of person, nice people, good, you know, salt, was it salt of the earth? People, you know, good people. He's got a problem with animals. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Dude, you're not even kidding. So, because cause this, what ends up happening is I show up, it's at this really nice hotel. I show up into the, and I go into the banquet room where they're having dinner before the show. And it's like, you know, it's like a really long route. It's like, so you look left and right. There's yeah. like 10 tables to each yeah. direction. So it's like, you know, there's nobody in front of me. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so it's just like it's kind of weird already and then uh there's a table right uh right as you walk in with like the people that booked me and she goes yeah so here's the microphone uh and it's just like the in-house system the what is a lavalier or yeah something? <laughs> yeah it's like it's just like it's it goes through the pa and yeah, it sounds yeah. it just you know distorted like, and everything it's just gross it just sounds so bad i'm like well that's not gonna do and you know and she goes i think the i think we put batteries in it like that kind of shit uh, where yeah. You're like, oh yeah God, yeah i'm already like no way yeah. this is gonna go like the way i want it to <laughs> i think we put batteries and in she it, goes yeah, yeah and uh, we don't really have a stage but we figured you could stand like right here and i'm like oh okay yep, yeah yeah and I'm, i'll be right back and like yeah. I'll be back and it was like a half hour until I didn't go back until like right before and I'm like where do you want me to stand <laughs> we'll just get through this did you plow through oh yeah no did- I just I basically just fucked around though the entire yeah. time I just asked people dumb taxidermy questions sure you know and they, and they were doing like this raffle like there was like molds of like <laughs> there's like a bear skin rug mold and I'm like that you know that just blew my mind you know and they're then, handing you gold with that right stuff, oh man. yeah no that's the thing is like that's all it was you, you made it all about them then yeah, yeah, yeah great yeah. and it was a blast and, and but that's the thing is like had I gone in with that and I kept yeah, that I, shitty like yeah I don't care attitude you know yeah. if you would let the I mean, battery comment ruin everything for right, it from that point right. because well I just I know of, a lot of guys that would I kind of took it as it was I was like well you know mm-hmm. just so you know a few of these things might you know 
this it's not going to be the show you were probably expecting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, you know the best part is they go, oh yeah, we told them it was a clean show. <laughs> oh, and there's two kids right in front. Oh my god. And I've never seen two kids more disappointed in dinner in like their <laughs> evening. Like I mean, it was it was really bad. Like, I I apologize. I was like, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> like halfway through, they're just like the one kid's just you know just got his hand in his. He's just, he has no idea what the hell you're like, talking about. Why are about. we here? Like, why are we here? Like, why? I don't, I really don't understand why we're here. And I don't understand why this guy <laughs> is just talking to us. I, I don't, it doesn't make any sense. You're not connected. You know, and even the audience doesn't feel that way. But, 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 but I'm like the kids alone. And how about that? That's all on you. That's yep. all on you to make that night happen when you're that guy. Yeah. You know, you got to get the laughs. You got to make some oh, stuff yeah. happen. There's. And then it, uh, yeah, and it went well. And ev- yeah. after everybody came up to, and like, you know, and it's not even me like try. I'm, I'm not even, it's not even bragging. It's just, yeah. Thank God I got through well, it. Well, you have experience and whatnot but as everyone, well, you know, you everyone, put it all together. Yeah. Everyone came up after and was like, that was amazing. And I'm like, mm-hmm. you should see this shit when it goes well. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I'd blow your mind. I know. And I go, have you guys done comedy before for your, you know, and they go, no, we've never done it. I'm like, okay, good. So no yeah. expectations. Yeah. Yeah. I've done gigs like that before. Like, yeah, yeah last year we had like Craig Shoemaker or yeah. something. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. I like how it has to be clean. And there's know, two kids up front. I, I would just have totally lost it. Man. Oh yeah. I mean, eventually it is so funny. They took them out. The, the parents I'm like, well, yeah, I mean, why you think they'd enjoy this shit? I'm not doing like balloon animals. It just says clean. I did a show for Melissa Hager up in Frankenmuth at the Bavarian Inn over the winter. Oh, yeah. I've done the Bavarian Inn. That's a nice, yeah. It's It's a corporate thing, corporate thing. Norm mm -hmm. Stoltz opened. He told some jokes. Rough crowd. It was a Mm -hmm. rough crowd. They were were stiff. You know, it was a a work thing. I think it was a car dealership. But anyway. Yeah. Her, her, this guy is in this car dealership with his sons. And he's like, do whatever you want. You do whatever you want. You say you. Go, so, you know, I, I got car blanche, you know, so right. I'm told before the show. Started. Well, I get up there. I'm insulting. People. You know, you see my yeah. act. I'm putting people but down. I'm going out in the audience. Crowd I'm work, you know, doing just, the whole thing, telling yeah. jokes in between, doing it, just get ripping on people. There's no way it couldn't have gone worse. Time. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. mean, the guy wanted me thrown out. They try to send up a note. I threw the note on the floor. I'm like, this is this really? joke. Oh, yeah. And uh, guys starts yelling at Melissa after the show and everything about it. you call that comedy. That guy was a are you swearing about me. So oh, it was hilarious, man. Jesus she was upset afterwards and I was kind of fired up because, you know, I did. They said we could do whatever. Yeah. And, and, uh, and I was getting laughs and stuff. But then, you know, you could just tell I insulted. I went after, you know, went after the owner of the company. I made a couple jokes at him, but apparently his ego was so big he couldn't handle that's it. That's so and great. He, and then he shit the bed in the room. That's I wish so I could great. remember his name. I call him out right now. I'm I so recent, irritated with him. I recently <laughs> did. Yeah. I recently did a fundraiser for a that was a mm-hmm. you know it was a softball team it was like yeah. a kids travel team you know it was all uh some in apparently it's like an elite league like you know these the girls on the team are like really really good but these are all the parents and the coach right in front uh the whole show this guy was just an <laughs> asshole right in front and just everybody and everybody just you know talking during everybody before that was up before me and i'm like this is gonna be yeah you know, and I'm already like, fuck, I don't I just wanted to do these shitty jokes and see if they worked, you know, like that's all I wanted to do. And then so I'm like, great, now I got to deal with these assholes. But like I ended up walking the coach. It was like one of those things where like, <laughs> but all the parents were on my side. Yeah. I'm like, you're just being a douche, man. Like yeah. ve- eventually I'm just like. Was nah. he yelling stuff out or yeah. is he just sitting there? Oh, yeah. He was just being an asshole and his wife's next to him. She's embarrassed. And it's like, one of those, he's just a big ego. You know, he's a softball coach. And yeah. I was like, you're one of those Oakley wearing just, you know, <laughs> uh, and I just tore into him yeah. and he fucking walked up and left. I'm like, yeah, yeah. good leaf. Good and then he him. left and I looked at all the parents and everybody's like, yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, wow. <laughs> I go, uh, I, I can't remember what I said to the everybody that was left in the room. I'm like, so how many, you know, you're all like parents of kids on his team. Like how many of you were, have been waiting to say something like that to him? And they're all like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we all hate that guy. He's a douche. And then after everyone comes up to you, like, that was great the way you made him walk. And I'm like, you know, I did some jokes in there yeah, that yeah, I really yeah, they, they just remember yeah, that though. You gave yeah, him the yeah. Rudy moment, man. That's the thing is I'm just trying to, I'm, just, I'm trying to work on these jokes and yeah. you're just, you're like, yeah, you, you pissed off my daughter's coach. That was hilarious. I did a, a show <laughs> like, at a ski lodge one time and I did, they had two shows. There was a uh, Saturday night show where, where it was like an adult show and everything. And uh, you could do, it was like a, it was a regular show. You could do, yeah. 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 Do and whatever then, you want. Uh, the next day they wanted me to do their uh, corp, their, their, their party, their, 
lodge party. So, and, and I'm like, I was nervous about it because they said, you know, they were like, you know, just, just no F bombs and stuff. And I could just tell the tone was getting, I had to be a certain way. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, all right. And then I said, I'm not sure if I'm the right guy. I told them this and they're like, no, oh, come and do it anyway. You come and do it anyway. Was it booked that way or was it like, I, 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 it was kind of booked that way. Because, and they, the was guy it? was just like, you could do what you did here. And I'm like, okay. He goes, just, just, you know, you know, clean it up a little bit. He wasn't giving me specifics while I get there. And, uh, <laughs> I'm sitting there. I'm getting nervous because there's crosses on the table. Oh, and there's no, you yeah. know, people saying "God bless you" walking around right, this and is a, praise the Lord and shit. And I'm sitting there with my wife, going, "This ain't happening." Yeah, this, I almost I was about to go up and uh, tell the guy I want to do it, and they start the festivities, and I'm sitting uh, at this table, going, "This is a nightmare." No, because it's not my it's not my deal, man. Well, I no, told well, them I don't want to do this. this is one, not <laughs> it's one thing, you know, and they saw your act yeah, the night before. Yeah. Oh, and you're man, telling it me was you not think, good. And you think like I can? You think my <laughs> act is right for? this I don't event? think he realized how extreme it was happening. The next day was going to be. Oh my! So God. the guy gives a blessing. Oh, does no. a prayer and he goes let's oh. bring up our comedian and i'm walking up there going this is kids are running around no one's paying attention people are walking around i, I did like two minutes and i'm just like this is hey, good night my first two or three jokes and i was doing as clean as i can and i was just being nice to people well, so right. no one's paying attention and everybody's talking and then you feel like two two inches tall well and then there's like there's a difference <laughs> between clean and like christian clean, clean yeah and there's like, a real you know, big difference there's like there's a big difference you know a lot of people clean just means don't say fuck like and, that, normal, yeah, and that extra pressure of realizing the what the, the situation was, like 10 minutes after I got there, but then I started noticing all the little clues and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, like the crosses, this is, this is not going to be good. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, it's not. <laughs> How did I get here? Why am I the guy doing this? Oh my, did know? you get, did they, did they, they paid they, me and everything, but it was just, uh, it well, was not like, the right, the guy, I think it was a last second idea by the guy too. Let, we'll throw some comedians up there, but no one was paying attention. Kids are running across the stage dude, and stuff. Like, oh man. I'm glad you got, uh, yeah, got out of there yeah, without yeah, it. Oh yeah, man. I got out of there, but it was, it it made me feel bad because I realized, hey, I got to work on my clean game. But it also made me sure. But we need to work on our communication. You know, I knew the I know the kind of comic game, and those are gigs I take. But you yeah, know. but yeah, I mean, but this, <laughs> but that's the thing is like with you do whatever the hell you want as long as they know what they're getting. It's like, oh, we saw you, yeah. we saw you the night before. Yeah, yeah. you know, maybe you're not right for yeah. the event with crosses on the table. That's fair. <laughs> Just don't do it. You know, and that's cool. Yeah, you know, <laughs> like that's it's not a big the crap deal. out of me. Would you say, uh, would you, I mean, shit, in 22 years, you've done some, you've had just all the worst things happen. Well, yeah, I've seen, I've been, I've created a lot of it on my own, man. <laughs> I think we all do at yeah, some point. But I don't think that my story is, is as different as it may be from other road comic story. Mm-hmm. It's all pretty much the same story, mm-hmm. the same joke, the same situations, <laughs> the same deal. We all pretty yeah, much we, deal with the same room personalities and the yeah. same comic personalities. And, you know, I, I you know. I've done a, a nudist colony. Oh before. yeah! Did they ever do Turtle Creek? Yeah, I've yeah. done. I've done it, and I've Nightmare. I learned. I learned quickly that it's a yeah. you say nudist resort and yeah. not colony. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they they take. Well, offense. I learned quickly that everybody shouldn't be nude in public. <laughs> You're right. It was one of the most disturbing things I'd You're ever right heard about. about that. And it was in a. Dude. Did you do it when it was like in that? Uh, it was, a, it was a, like the pool house or something. Yep. Like ninety degree percent humidity, yeah. And just in the you know, middle of summer, up. and you know, and we're like, oh, and they're like, just, well, you're just like sweating your ass. Oh off. Like, my just god! Take it's your like I was in a sauna. Yeah, they kept saying, "I'm not taking my clothes off." Like I'm not. I'm sorry. Sweating in I'm denim. Not, you know? I didn't sit down. Yeah. I didn't sit down anywhere. No. I was like, you guys don't even put a towel down. There's still so certain gross, cleanly. Man. There's still certain cleanliness. I always tell the story about this guy that man was sitting with my wife and. <laughs> Wait, Christine go? Stedman. Time out. Did did your oh, wife? Right. So Susie said, "You're not doing this without me. I'm going with you. That, I got to see this." Hilarious. And because, we were like, everywhere we turned, they said, "You know, you're gonna, you may run into some naked people walking around in these different little mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, chalets or whatever." So we're walking <laughs> around, and every time I turned the corner, man, I was terrified I was going to see someone naked. It's mm-hmm. like this big buildup. No one was nude until we got to the pool house, and I walked up, and Christine Stedman's pinned against the wall, surrounded by a bunch of middle-aged naked people. Jesus Christ, begging, begging me to come over and take her away from the situation oh my god and uh yeah so we did the show i i did not do well that show that, that was not one of my uh uh people don't like yeah. to be insulted when they're nude <laughs> <laughs> i found uh, i see you learn something every oh show she went up did great because i was the foil she did real well and then we're sitting after the show talking about it, laughing about the whole situation here comes this dude just this guy he's probably 65 years old he has a sweatshirt on a hat Socks and shoes, no pants, no underwear, man. <laughs> Walking over to us with two pieces of birthday cake. 
Now, is that <laughs> is that every sixth graders nightmare? Let me tell you, it was my we were freaking out, man. Oh His little That's dong so... hanging out while just walking at us with cake. How many times has he pulled that one at a birthday party when Dude, the parents went to bed? So nasty. Oh, it was. I'm not. You we don't take, freaked. Yeah, you and don't you know, t- you don't eat that cake. No. He gave it to us. I took. Oh, thank you. You know, he's, he's standing there talking, then he walks away, and oh, it was oh, just that's a, so gross, it was horrific, man. Yeah, but you know, that cake doesn't get eaten. No, oh, <laughs> dude, like who you who made this? Which naked person? Yeah, yeah made which this ma- shit? were you dressed when yeah, you did it, or like, is there some sort of OSHA, body like, hair? How, in this yeah, thing? you're just like yeah. I mean, you're in the kitchen. You know, I don't want to floss with my cake. <laughs> Yeah, it felt like it, it had the vibe of like a VFW. Oh, where, yeah, man. You know, like where it's... Yeah, it did. It like, was a VFW there's like the hall. Kitchen, <laughs> like, there's like, like there's like a kitchen in the back and, you know, like... Some and, guy back there stirring chili <laughs> naked wearing an apron. <laughs> yeah, like like when they have events, it's like, oh, it's just like it's the clubhouse, you know? And like, you're just like, but it's all just weird naked. Yeah. Like, oh, they said, yeah, come in and check it. So I went and looked at the... They go, come in and look at our jacuzzi stuff. I go back there. Everybody was so jammed in at this jacuzzi, you couldn't fit another body God. in there, and it was just everybody's naked sitting around. I mean, they're all jammed in. It's a, yeah, and there. Oh I've, my I've, God! I've, I've, I learned that there was. Uh, it seems like it, nobody wants to be a nudist until they're at least sixty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For suddenly all of a sudden you want to show this off, and you're 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 at least you're, that particular yeah, uh, yeah. you know resort. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what? yeah, that was definitely for the older the older people. Yeah, I I I don't know. I don't know if I could ever do it. <laughs> no, no, not no, for me. I wasn't gonna. No way. Not for me. No way, man. <laughs> especially if I was and not. Especially not as the opener. <laughs> Follow that, Christine. That's <laughs> <laughs> great. Now I heard Rob Little say on stage the other day he's gotten naked and done comedy at one of those things before. It's yeah. That's not my personality type. No, I don't know. I. I <laughs> I don't know. Hey, man. I don't know if it's for me. With my shirt off, I look like a marshmallow trying to grow a beard. I have a hard enough enough time performing in clothes. Yeah. Yeah. I've already got enough. I've already got enough. Uh, To take your, to do it shirtless? Are you kidding me? I'm already showing too much of my humiliation. Yeah. Just not add to it. (laughs) Yeah. You don't have to imagine the audience naked that this one, they are, they just are. Yeah. Yeah, other than that, that that particular gig, that nudist resort gig, that one, it, the show went good, but it, not, luckily I, just, I got in and out. I was like, you yeah. don't need to, you know, the guy at the thing, you know, and th- this thing is the guy that was like the contact or whatever is like, hey, I'll give you a tour of the grounds or whatever. Yeah, and like yeah. I got in the truck yeah, we did. with him and he's like, you know, and he's naked and he's just driving us around naked. Oh, you, really? Yeah, we didn't get that. We were there in the winter. Yeah, so. he's, oh, see, it's like, that's like, <laughs> the wonder that was even weirder yeah it's like why you guys you don't have to be that can you just do you, do you just it's cold fucking yeah. cover up do you have to be naked Not, yeah do you have to but be they're nudists i guess yeah they have i to guess be. i guess so talk about shows too where you think you made it. i did the oddball comedy fest at dte one year and you know i get the gig and everything and i'm all excited about it and then i get there and i'm doing the state the side stage next to the ladies room which is yeah it's it was literally hilarious because i remember that year, that year i went i went to the i just went yeah, oh did you go that year i was there i because that was the Chappelle year right uh or was it the bill burr um, uh, see, i all i know is steven brody steven yeah i don't know if Chappelle was the year maybe unless he dropped in i don't think he was on the bill though i had gone twice once was with Chappelle, and the other one was bill burr was like okay. the big had the big yeah. name on the show but you know, I I always went a little early to check out the locals that were doing like yeah. the you know yeah. this thing whatever, and I'm like, wow, these guys get to play this big you know amphitheater. It's gonna be I, it's gonna be cool to see Bill Bouchard on that stage, yeah. right? Of course, I'm gonna go early, <laughs> and I go and I go to the, like the lawn or whatever, and I'm like, there's no show going. Where's the show? And then I hear Stephen <laughs> Brody yeah. Stevens like. Uh, you know, comp, you know, he's got like the megaphone and yeah, shit and he's yeah. just yelling at people. Like he, the guy draws fucking, I mean, it was fa- by the time I and, got up there, there, I bet there was like 900 people and, watching me. Well, that's the, and that's, what's crazy is like, you're just <laughs> you're walking really you're by it. the concession. It's just yeah, a concession. Yeah, stand. Right. When they Lit- come in, there you are. Literally the women's room is right there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. And he's just, he's just yeah. getting people over. And that guy, I don't know if you've seen his like hour or whatever i saw him over at the l club he was just banging on a uh, drum or a, a turned over bucket man he, it, yeah I mean, he's like he's perfect for that, that oh shit. yeah he's like, great just, he, like, and he was great so he was good. a nice guy off he's stage so good. Too. he was enthusiastic he made you feel good about the show but by the time you were up there there was there was an audience it's crazy yeah, yeah. and i did that with kate brindle and uh, robert jenkins yeah and i yeah yeah <laughs> And then some guy who won some contest in another state, he was up and then Stephen Brody Stevens. But I remember getting up there 
and telling my jokes and I could hear out of my uh, right ear the toilets flushing in the ladies room. It was hilarious. <laughs> my, my, That's so great. You're my, like, this you is know, like a- it, it, it turned out good, but it was just, you know, you, you, you had, I thought I was going to be on the, when I first got it, I'm like, I'm going to be on a, this is fucking great. And yeah, no, that's you're a like, big oh, deal. you'll be performing over here on this crate. Right, right. And uh, oh my God. don't yeah. mind the smell of citrus from the ladies room. You were on a quite a different, yeah, you're in a different experience <laughs> than Bill Burr and Dave Chappelle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, oh no, they get the, <laughs> They let us go back and sit in the green room for a few minutes uh, back there. And you saw some <laughs> you, of the comics all passed you, out. Obviously, they hey, were tired. You want to know what this could be like? <laughs> yeah, yeah. This could be you if you put some effort in. If you didn't suck. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like here, like, hey, we'll introduce you yeah. to all these guys yeah, yeah. real quick while they eat. Yeah. You don't, you know, you can go, you can go watch. It was watch so funny them. to see the number of uh, Michigan comics that came out, though. There was a ton of people that came out. So that was a. Uh, yeah. It's still a fun it show to see. Made you feel good, though, because they yeah. were all complimentary afterwards, too, and they got to see you. But. You know, you still want to get on the big stage. I've been on that big yeah. stage out at uh, Meadowbrook. I opened up for Gilbert Godfrey. I've done oh, it a few wow, times. Yeah. But I, I opened up for him. But here's another story of me eating. And I got up there. I did 20 minutes. And I got nothing, man. And I am i don't know if you've ever sweating in front of 4,000 people or how many, 3,000, yeah. whatever is up there. And it just wasn't going well. I go back. He walks out, gets a standing ovation the second he steps on the stage. And it's one of the, I was just it's in like, the way, oh, man. God, I, yeah. That's what I realized is, you know, sometimes you're when just you're in the way. For someone that, uh, <laughs> they didn't want me. They wanted Gilbert and they went nuts. Well, man. when you're opening for someone with, with fans, oh, yeah, like man. it's like, they don't want yeah. it, you yeah. know, yeah. especially someone like, like that who's, yeah. you know, pretty famous. And he was so quiet and meek off stage and friendly, very mm-hmm. friendly. And he got up there and he was just a monster and he mm-hmm. just tore it up. It was, it was fun to watch. Yeah. That's, that's crazy to see when it was yeah. like, off stage, you're like, hey, nice, to, like, you know, nice to meet you. They're like this yeah. real low key, and then on stage, I'm like, Jesus. You ever play any of those really big, the big amphitheaters? Like, Never. I've had a couple, like four or five different times. I've had to, and it's just been, it's, it's, it's definitely it's, a different way of, yeah, of delivering and stuff, and waiting for that laugh because sometimes it takes a second before well, it gets back. And you know, you know, people are still sitting during yeah. your set. Yeah, you know? yeah. and you can you're see just, people moving around. People yeah, are hitting the fucking volleyball out in the. <laughs> grass you're like this is weird this is man. great for stand-up yeah well, let's think jim gaffigan plays those amphitheaters all the time i don't oh, know yeah. i don't know if i mean maybe someone like that who's got such a big audience yeah. and like they're there to see him they'll be yeah, like, he's got to be drawing a few thousand yeah i would think i mean i think that's why because he just draws so many people that those are the only venues that he can use yeah. you know but um but like someone like that who like they want to see him so they'll they'll like actually sit down watch yeah. the show and not play volleyball in yeah. this <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I had a couple of, a couple of rough uh, we- shows this past weekend just because of the lack of audience members on the Friday. Oh, Did one Friday, God. one Saturday, a couple bar gigs, and I'm just what's longing for the days of eating it in front of Gilbert Gottfried. I could do it there. I, yeah. yeah, like I mean, if you could, yeah. Well, one pays a little better too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, well, uh, we, what's the smallest smallest audience you've performed? Oh, I've done two to four people. Shit, man, I've done two. I've done two. Yeah, I've done. I've also done four. Yeah. Yeah, but those are, yeah. And you tell that to people, and you just do it. And yeah. And it's sometimes just, they're the most appreciated. I know that sounds stupid to say, because why we even have the show, but when you do it, yeah, a lot of times those four people that, I, I've had that at more than once, and well, they're so it. appreciative of the whole well, thing. Right. You're like, this is a weird situation. You get all four laughing, you're yeah. crushing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know and you can mean? make it something out of that. Yeah, which... I, I kind of I kind of like it. I'm like, no one's going to fucking know this happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? No one's going to. I could kill you people and get away with it. These people already forgot my name anyway. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? And those were in venues that, that, you know, had comedy, but it was just the worst time of the yeah. year or. Oh, man. And it's so funny when they still, like, even yeah. the man. You know, they still do the show. Yeah, it's like well, we're still we're gonna do. We're still gonna do the show. Uh, yeah, are we still gonna? Do, this you, is your call. How do you factor into yeah. this? So you're, yeah, just just so you just for you to be able to say you you did the show. That's how we get. Because I'm like, you just pay us to leave. It would be the same outcome. <laughs> It will be the same. And I'll get home an hour and a half earlier. Right. And these people won't, you know, just give them tickets to tomorrow night. And then, you know. You're paying me to show up. You're never paying me to do the comedy. Yeah, you don't get paid to do the gig. That's the driving that I'm doing and the being here. You get to the show. The comedy's free. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) That's the way we got to start looking at it. I mean, that's the way it should. I feel like it should, you know? I mean, oh, dude, like I I talked about this actually on the, uh, with Mark Poulos just I just had him on the podcast. Yeah. We did. We were doing this gig up in Brimley, and uh, okay, Bay Mills Casino. Yeah, I've and, done uh, it. On the way up, though, the Mackinac Bridge closed. Yeah, so I got to the bridge. What the hell you do? Sat there until showtime and realized it wasn't going to open. You know, I was like, well, you know, I was and I was there for like four or five hours, 
you know, had to turn around. Mark drove in from Minnesota, so he was he was cool. And I'm like, dude, I don't know. There's no way I can get over. There's no way. And and so of course, if I go drive home four or five hours in the middle of the night, yeah, to, to no money, yeah, you know. I'm like, but I was, th-, you know. <laughs> when did you you didn't find out the bridge was closed till you got right up to it? Yeah, there's a sign. Well, how would you know? Two eggs. Would you listen well, to the bro- bridge closing the, when you're in was, uh, See, here's, here's the thing is like, I mean, I didn't, well, I left at like nine. So it was crazy early because like they offer you a room the night before yeah. if you want it, but I never take it because I'm like, it's four or five hours. I'll leave. I always leave early because I'm like, you know, and the weather wasn't that bad. And I was like, yeah, those will be fine. I leave. Weather's fine. I'm like, it's actually a great day to go up north. I was like looking forward to it. Yeah. And I, you know, I'm two exits away and there's like the big digital sign that says bridge closed take next exit i'm like the fuck the sun's out you know and then it's falling ice so it's it's like thawing out you know so the bridge is just thawing out and so like ice what a bummer man yeah and i sat up there for four hours i called mark right away and i'm like dude i don't know i've never how far is brimley from the bridge on the other 45 minutes it's like next to sous st marie okay i've been there i've done that casino before yeah and it's a great gig but yeah dude the bridge is closed i'm just stuck there and i'm like well, I'm just going to wait it out because it could open back up. Yeah. And they were like, we don't know when, you know, we'll let you know. And then everybody up there that I talked to, I ended up just going to a bar. Yeah. <laughs> and everybody, everybody up there is like, yeah, this happened last week. Didn't open until the next day. And I'm like, what the fuck? You know, yeah. Yeah, it's got to get cold enough to refreeze or whatever. And I'm like, <laughs> fuck, yeah. you know. Only in Michigan it has to refreeze. Well, that's the thing. It's like, you know, and I drive back like a fucking asshole and yeah. I have no money. I'm out the money. It was a great gig. But I'm also like, I should have fucking taken that Thursday room. Now I know. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, so in a way it was kind of my fault. I don't know. At least they that's. Probably were factoring that in too, you know. Well, yeah. Mark said the lady at the hotel said last week, the week before the comedian didn't make it because of the bridge. And uh, apparently it's the thing. But nobody. Somebody told me that yeah. I didn't know it closed. Well, you're going in a whole other world up there in the winter. Yeah. I mean, you cross yeah. that bridge. It's, it's a different kind of yeah. winter. I mean, I was only I could only hope that Mark had the same problem and yeah. like maybe Mark didn't make it. If we don't show up, maybe we can get paid. But yeah. Mark ended up doing 90 minutes. <laughs> yeah. But Mark actually, he, but he was cool enough. He he felt really bad and he sent me gas money. But I was like, I had a show I had to do a few weeks back. My wife came with me too, and then a snowstorm hit. It was on the west side. Good, good little setup, a little weird the way that, but they, they made it yeah. nice and it was packed in there and the drive there was an excruciating nightmare. I didn't yeah. think we we're going to make it to the gig. Yeah. We got there right on time. Did the thing. I mean, I was a frazzled from, but, but you know, you get on stage and you forget about that stuff. But, yeah. And then afterwards I'm thinking, how the hell are we going to get home? Oh, so, they don't put you up. You know, they didn't put us up. So I had to Jesus that, Christ. But. What, what would you say? Uh, so we, we talked so much, so much about shit gigs. What's the best gig you've ever done? Like the with the one that you felt like where you're like oh I'm- I did brouhaha a couple times yeah uh, I got the headline that second show on a Saturday night that was fantastic two thousand yeah. people going crazy yeah and a couple of good casino gigs I've done in the past yeah. um like big sold out but even you know egg you know back in the day when we had all the uh, you know a full room at Joey's a full room at the castle when everything's going right you the know, materials working the improv's working it's all going full steam I almost ahead. I almost prefer I I think if I had. I don't know, like, don't get me wrong, a theater, like a night like that, it's amazing, but there's still something about like a packed club audience. Yeah, man. It's like, where you they're know, all jammed in. The Holly yeah. Hotel is one of my all time favorite yeah, places. Yeah, where to play. everybody's just crammed in. Yeah. You can hear the drink glasses yeah. and shit, right on top you know? of you. It's not yeah. the most ideal situation, but no. it's kind of rough, but you're making the best but of it. But it's just, man. yeah, like even, even the smaller rooms, like with the low ceilings yeah. and, you know, it's just, those are. I like Ann Arbor a lot. I love the castle. Yeah. You know, any of the local clubs, any of the local yeah. mainstays, I love doing all of them. I mean, there's really. It's you know, you count on them so that you kind of fall in love mm-hmm. with them. I miss, I miss the Dearborn days. I miss the cl- all the other clubs we used to have around yeah. town. You played those, you, you know, Lansing and Chaplins and all. Oh those. man, yeah. You know, you don't appreciate them when you got them, and then they leave, and you realize what you had, and it's it's a bummer. Yeah, you know? it's funny. Those are my like. That's how I. Started, that's how old you, you know? are. You're yeah. telling people about. You remember when Chaplins? Boy, was you, let me tell you about connections. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like, what? But those just, I mean, they were yeah. gone overnight. That's mm-hmm. the bummer, you know, well, you're, yeah, you're, you're, you're counting on that stuff. That's, that's what made the scene. All those mm-hmm. just amazing how much it's dipped, but you know, you see resurgence with all these new comics, putting on all these one nighters, great promos, yeah. great, uh, you know, I kind of like the one night, one show yeah. thing, you yeah. know, 
I mean, it seems to be where we're headed. If you can yeah. string us something together, you're winning. I kind of like you it. Know? I, I almost prefer it. You know, it's like, I mean, you could do two shows Friday. I'm like, I'm still making the same shit money just yeah. for one less show. But it's also like that one show is really good, you know? Yeah. So we'll be all right. Yeah. And everybody loves Bill. It's Bichard. going somewhere. Yeah. You know? It's not going to go away, yeah. but it'll, it'll, you know. But what is it going to blossom into? I guess we'll find <laughs> out, you know? <laughs> yeah. Well, as long, yeah, as long as we have all have a place like this to go yeah. home to. Yeah, I, I'm never disappointed when I open my door. Yeah, uh, coming back from a gig. Shit, man, I would. I don't. I'd be. I'd probably quit comedy. Yeah. Well, now you know. <laughs> I drive where I drive. I got to pay the bills. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, you got Hastings coming up. Anything else you want to? Anything you want? You're on. I'm opening you, for John Caparulo. Oh, over at the at, Comedy Castle on a Thursday night. I think it's April. Okay. Uh, April fifth. I think okay. it is. It's the Thursday show. That'll be on. Uh, it's on Comedy Castle. At Comedy Castle. Castle dot com. And then I'm going to be at uh, on that Saturday. The, I'm going to be at um, uh, one of my favorite rooms is uh, Rob's Comedy Playhouse in Buffalo. Oh York. yeah, I love that room. I'm there like four times a year. It's a great place to play. Yeah. All right. And to talk about a compact one room. I mean. Yeah. It's really fun, man. Just they're right show. on they top of one, you. One show Friday. Right? One, uh, two shows on a Saturday. Two night. shows on a Saturday night, ah, and they're both usually packed. Great. And it's just a great, like, great little room. Yeah, and, and they only use the one. You know, it's just the one person. That's yeah. just you, right? Yeah, yeah. Ah, that's great. Well, they have a house MC. Yeah, and then they they used to do like some improv, and then they'd bring up the. Uh, I think there'll be three people on the the shows now. The okay. locals. Yeah. Well, cool, man. Yeah. Do you have a website or anything? What do you no, do? No, I just you... do uh, Facebook is what I use now. I just go Facebook's through my Facebook thing? and I'll sponsor my shows. Hell and I'll, yeah. You know, throw ads out there in the towns I'm going into and see if anything happens. But... Yeah. So Facebook and Twitter. You tweet a lot, though. Uh, I used You're to. Pretty... I, I, you know, I've been off Twitter because Twitter I started to get, uh, I was poisoned by all the uh, oh, harsh rhetoric you, and I get, couldn't take the get, negativity did anymore. Did you get sucked in? Yeah. And, I, and then I just said, what am I doing? And I just stopped. <laughs> I got off. I deleted it on my phone. I said, I'll get back in a in, You uh, just take a break. I think everybody, dude, I think we all everybody it's, it's like the Everyone. sewer of life dude it's, it's really Twitter, bad man. it's really bad <laughs> it's so to- it's a, i don't even it's I, toxic every, as can be man i get a headache right when yeah. i go on i'm like yeah i we, oh, jesus christ people like oh anybody have a good day anymore yeah like you know can you have anybody just have a good day <laughs> you know <Yeah. laughs> I'm at the Holly Hotel the last uh, weekend of the month too. Uh, last weekend of uh, April. Seriously, yeah. So yeah. if you're in Michigan, you can see Bill fucking everywhere. Yeah, I'm everywhere. Yeah, I, I re- literally am. Yeah, I, I go everywhere. Just everywhere you play, yeah. I play. We're all dude. Yeah, I mean, everywhere. We're all in the same. Yeah, yeah. That's great though. Look around. You'll see it's look see around me somewhere look in for, your backyard. Go, just go to your local comedy venue. Yeah. <laughs> Even if it's Hastings, yeah. everything from Hastings to Marquette yeah. to Alpena to, to you, Gaylord and down yeah. to yeah. Yeah, all of, anybody in Michigan, yeah, you the can see, There's no excuse over to Royal Oak, back <laughs> up to Ann Arbor. <laughs> oh, the, Captain, let's go over to uh, there's there's Wixom. There's no excuse. There's no excuse to not see. Bill We're all show. bouncing around, yes. man. It's like a pinball game. That's right. Well, thank you for doing the podcast, Bill. I, I appreciate, appreciate having me on. I hope uh, hope we got some content. Oh yeah.